Hello my creative friends! Olga from Smart Art Materials here and today I'm gonna do the Dutch pour but I want to make it different. I want to try doing it on a black base. So with black negative space instead of white. Um, let's see how that works. And these are the colors that I'm working with today. As always, you can find all the details, the recipe, the names of the colors in the description of the video. And I also want to make a little announcement. Um, on my website, I posted an article about how to finish the back of the canvas of your fluid artwork. Um, I'm giving a few different options there and as well as how to prevent the mess during the pouring before it's even happening. And if this is something you were wondering about, definitely check it out. The link is just in the corner and also in the description. All right, I'm done talking. Let's do the pouring. So today I'm working on 12 by 12 canvas and I used it once before didn't like the result, uh, just covered with a black paint and reusing it over again. Uh, usually I would sand it and cover with gesso first, but for today's experiment that should be fine. And again, for the Dutch pour technique, I like my paint, including the base color, to be a little more fluid compared to my regular mixture. I find that the way I position colors on a canvas before blowing makes a pretty big difference. So I just like to experiment and play around with it a little, deciding which color goes where. Alright, I'm very happy with today's experiment. I would say that I got not as many cells as I did with titanium white paint, but it still looks very nice, especially with such bright color combination. So I will definitely give it another try with black paint. Uh, let me know what you guys think, I would love to hear from you. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video and have fun with your experiments.